Hello everyone, today our topic is how to connect Telegram bot with MySQL database. So here our objective is that whenever we get a new message in Telegram, then we want to capture that message details and we want to add these details in MySQL database. For that, we will create an integration between Telegram and MySQL. For creating this integration, we are going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Public Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Telegram. In Action application, I'm going to use MySQL. So how I am going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are working with Telegram and MySQL database. So here in Telegram, I'm getting a lot of messages. And here I want to keep a backup of all the messages that I'm getting in a group. And for the backup, I want to add this in MySQL database. So here my objective is that whenever I get a new message in Telegram, then I want to add these message details in MySQL and I will create a backup and I want this to happen automatically. So for this, I will create an integration between Telegram and MySQL. So for that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and here we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will click here on access now button under Pabli Connect and it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Here, we want to create a new workflow. For that, I will click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is to add telegram messages in MISQL. Now I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I will select home and I will click on create. And it will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we will set up our trigger first. And here our trigger application will be telegram and I will select this telegram bot. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I will open this tab and set webhook slash watch updates will be my trigger event. So I will select this. I will click on connect. I will click on add new connection and to connect telegram bot with public connect, I have to give a token. Now to get this token, let's go to telegram and I will search for bot father. I will click on start. Here I will select this slash new bot. And now I have to give the name to my bot. So I will name it as Pabli452 and I will click on send. Now I have to give a username. And while giving the username, you need to keep one thing in mind that your username should always end with underscore bot. So my username will be Pabli452 underscore bot. I will click on send. And this has generated a token for me. So I'm going to copy this token and I will go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste this token here and I will click on save. So my connection here is successful. Now I will go back to Telegram and I will open my bot. I will click on start. Now I will create a new group. So I will click here on this pencil icon. I will click on new group and here I will add my bot to the group. So I will add my bot in this group and I will create this group. Now I will name my group which will be telegram backup and I will create this group. So this is my group and I have two members here. First one is me and second one is this bot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give admin permission to this bot. I'm using telegram on my computer. So this is not possible to give admin permission in computer. So I have to use my mobile phone. In my mobile phone, I will use telegram app. I will open my telegram backup group and in that I will give admin permission to this bot. 
Now I will refresh this. I will open this again. And here we can see we have this admin permission to this bot. I will close this. I will go back to Pabli Connect and I will click on save and send test request button. So it is waiting for response. Now I will go back to Telegram and I will send a message. So this will be my message. This is for demo purpose and I'm going to send this message. Now I will go back to Pabli Connect and here we have the response. So this is the message. This is for demo purpose. And this is the method that we have received in the group. The, this is the update ID. And this is the name of the user that I have sent that message, which is demo. So this is the ID from which we have received the message from. And we have this chat ID. So we are going to use these details and we are going to add these details in my SQL and we will create a backup to this message. For that, I will set up my action. And here my action application will be my SQL. I will select this. Now I have to give an action event. So I will open this tab and insert row will be my action event. I will connect my SQL with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And to connect this, I have to give these details such as username, password, host, database and port. So I'm going to fill all these details here. So I have filled all my details here and I'm going to click on save. So my connection here is successful. Now we have these details here. So first I have to select my table name. So for this, let's go to my SQL. And here I have created this telegram message table. So I'm going to use this. So let's go back to public connect and I will select this telegram message table. And here all the details have changed according to my table. Now I have to fill all these details and I'm going to map these details. So for that I will use mapping. And what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which we can retrieve the data from the previous tab and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So first I will map my chat ID. So I will click here. I will open this response and I will search for my chat ID. So this is my chat ID. I'm going to map this. Similarly, I will map this from ID. Now we'll map the name. And I will map the message. So these are the details and I will create a backup all these details and I will click on save and send test request button. So here we have the response and the status is success. Now to check this, let's go to my SQL and I will go to browse and here we have added this details and we have created this backup. So this is the chat ID and this is the from ID and this is the name of the sender. And the message is this is for demo purpose. So this is the message that we have received in Telegram group and we have created this backup in MySQL. So here our workflow is working successfully and we have created this integration between Telegram and MySQL. So whenever we are getting a new message in Telegram web, then the backup of that message is adding automatically in MySQL. Now to check this, let's go back to Telegram and I will send this new message which will be so this is my new message, which is this is an example. So I'm going to send this and I will go back to my SQL and I will refresh this. And here we can see we have added this new row. So this is the chat ID. This is the from ID and this is the name of the sender. And we have this message, which is this is an example. So and here we can see we are creating this backup automatically from the Telegram group and we are adding all the message details that we are getting on Telegram. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. So we have created this integration between Telegram and MySQL. So whenever we are getting a new message in Telegram, then the details of that message is adding automatically in MySQL. So let's summarize what we did here. First, we have set up our trigger and our trigger application was Telegram bot and our trigger event was set webhook slash watch updates. Then we have set up our action and our action application was MySQL and our action event was insert row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. 
And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.